makeup foundations and gray hair to unrelated topics in one video. I'm producing this video today. It, it is a long weekend in Canada. I'm dressed quite casually in a souvenir sweatshirt that I got on a cruise, but let's move on because these are two topics on my mind. Why are makeup foundations on my mind? Well, Michelle Spieler has produced a brilliant three-part video series on her TikTok that I'm going to tag below that talks about finding out your skin tone being just as important to your undertone in determining what makeup foundations are in harmony with you. There are two aspects to makeup foundations, the undertone and the surface coloring or overtone. And there's two aspects to your skin, the undertone and the overtone or skin tone. And you have to match your makeup foundations to both. And Michelle Spieler series is a brilliant lens into this aspect. I find so many people, when they receive their undertone in their color analysis result, they'll run out and purchase foundations uh, that are in harmony with that undertone, and perhaps the foundation they purchased isn't an exact match. Uh, and what they're bumping into usually is that that foundation does not align with their skin tone. There's a mismatch there. Thank you, Michelle for producing this fantastic series. I loved it. A very common thing I hear from warm undertone people, for instance, is that the uh, foundation appears too dark on their skin. And Michelle's video series is brilliant at addressing this. If you're somebody who is using their undertone that they're told at makeup stores as an input into a self-color analysis that, in my opinion, usually uh, may still you in the wrong way. So for instance, I'm told all the time that I have a warm skin undertone in makeup stores. Even their machines tell me that. And I don't know what methodology is going on there and I'm not going to even try to dissect it. But I have a fully cool skin undertone. And But if I was to use the information that I received at the makeup store, uh, that would place me in a spring or autumn category and spring and autumn colors on me are not good. Well, moving on to the very much unrelated topic of gray hair and color analysis. So I have hair color uh, videos out there uh, that give sort of textbook uh, color analysis recommendations in regards to aligning your hair color to your color analysis result and discussions in all those videos incorporate what happens when your hair goes naturally gray or silver. So refer to those for textbook answers uh, in regards to color analysis, but uh, you'll have to factor in sort of your lifestyle, budget, personality in all of that. Uh, I don't want to be an advocate for coloring uh, natural hair or uh, naturally gray or silver hair. Uh, I uh, want to be an advocate for authenticity and being who you really are. If I was to summarize all the hair color uh, videos and the textbook uh, color analysis recommendations in regards to gray hair, uh, the for the warm palettes, uh, fully warm palettes, uh, naturally gray or silver hair in color analysis uh, would typically be recommended to be colored and colored to a hair color that is in harmony typically with your natural hair color around the age of 20. Let's say after uh, you go ahead and evaluate your lifestyle, personality, budget, whatever other factors you may want to consider into the coloring gray hair decision, let's say you've decided to rock your natural gray hair or silver hair and you are a warm undertone palette. Here's a warm spring example of what I just talked about. She's absolutely stunning. Um, and so some people, for instance, will say, oh, but the yellow doesn't go with the gray hair. But color analysis ultimately is about adding vibrancy to you. And this yellow passes color analysis checks. And in fact, the uh, yellow in this image is adding vibrancy to the color of her natural gray hair. Here's another example of this. Uh, she's in an orange and some may go, oh, the orange is in conflict with her natural gray, but this orange is adding vibrancy to her. 
Here's a picture before her color analysis when she thought she had a cool skin undertone. Uh, many people th think this because when you go gray, uh, you know, perhaps align your clothing colors you wear with your newly gray hair. That's not color analysis. Color analysis is primarily about aligning everything with your skin, jawline, eyes. And when you do that, uh, everything appears more vibrant and powerful. Here's a look at her again in the warm color. And then here, she her coloring gets drained. To imply that the whole population that decides to wear their naturally gray hair all of a sudden converts to a cool undertone palette is not correct logic in the color analysis system I use. And in fact, if you were to do a internet search and ask the question, does my skin undertone change? You will receive a whole slew of articles back that say skin undertone does not change. Here's Wiki Mama 42 who has recently shared that eye color analyzed her as a true spring. If she was to all of a sudden wear a gray or silver wig, that doesn't change the fact that her skin has a fully warm skin undertone. And if she chose to rock that root wig, I would not suggest to her to stop wearing her warm palette colors, including yellow and the uh, softer oranges in the True Spring palette. It's more of an apricot or peach in the True Spring palette for oranges. You can review any of my videos that have warm skin undertone people in them and ask yourself the question, if or when they go gray, uh, would you recommend that all of a sudden they stop wearing their colors? This person is a great example of that. If she goes gray one day, should she stop wearing her true spring colors? My advice would be no. Before this client found out that her coloring was aligned with True Spring, she thought she was going to receive a summer result. Here she is in a summer drape. Her skin goes quite gray and unvibrant. Here she is in a True Spring view, and you can see her naturally gray or silver hair, more vibrancy to it with the spring colors on her. Here she is in a green in the True Spring palette and literally surrounded by uh, spring flowers in primarily True Spring colors. And she totally is rocking her warm undertone True Spring look. And here's another picture she supplied where she's absolutely so vibrant. Fair skin does not equal cool skin undertone either. And so if you're looking at your surface coloring to decide your undertone, those are two different things. Hopefully this video has helped. Thanks again, Michelle, for producing that brilliant video. If you're in Canada, I wish you a lovely long weekend.